Hey you guys and welcome. This video is on the plugin Chest Commands and lots of you have said that this is a great plugin I should review it. I've set up a couple of custom menus at the moment. There's lots of things to cover in this plugin so I'll try and cover as many as I can. So the first one is this menu is activated by a diamond or a command and you get to set the custom command as well. So if I right click the diamond it plays a sound, it's called hub menu. You've got three things, you've got close menu, that'll just close it down. You've got spawn and that'll teleport you to the spawn and then you've got hats and that'll take you to the VIP hats menu. So slash spawn just takes you to the spawn. The other command for this one is slash hub and that'll open the same menu because it's called hub menu. And I'll show you how you set that up later on. So if I go on VIP hats, as you can see there's a list of all the hats here. And this is just done by basically a give command. So I click it and it's given me this leaves. It's got protection one and it says type slash hat to wear this. Only VIPs get this feature. So if I look again, I could use different hat. So fire and then it say exactly the same thing. So you can set all this up. I'll show you that in a minute. So the other thing under VIP hats is some of the default menus. So there's the shop. This is a default shop that comes with the download. And what I advise is going into this, look at how they've set their things up. It is the easiest way, that's how I learned how to do it. The other thing is slash money and that will show you your money. As you can see I've got a balance of zero. Then here it takes you back to the main menu. This is the default, I've changed a couple of them but yours will look slightly different. And then what I suggest is going into the examples and things like that just to see how things are done. It shows you the formatting codes, how to run as op, how to run with placeholders, how to do the economy and give. So there's lots of things that you can go into. I'll look at the config file now and show you how to set up some of the shops. So when you install it, you'll get lots of files created. One of them is the config file. I probably wouldn't go into this. There's not a lot you can change. There's a few messages and things like that. The one that is important is items. So when you come to items, you can set your custom items. So this is where players get their hats and items given from shops and things like that. And this is where you set up items that can have custom enchantments, custom names and custom laws. So for instance, the name of its dispenser, this isn't shown, but it's used later on when you actually want to spawn the item. The ID, so 23 is the ID for a dispenser, and I want to give you one. Data value is zero. The name of it is colored dispenser, so that'll be green dispenser. The law is here, and then the enchantment is protection one. So that'll spawn a custom item with all them data values, and I've set up absolutely loads of them at the moment. The next one is hub menu, this is the one I created myself and as you can see the name is hub menu, the rows are three and the command to access it is slash hub. So you could even get rid of this, you don't actually need a command, I don't personally use commands, I just showed you for the video. Open sound, this is a really cool feature, when you first open the menu it will play the sound, obviously you don't have to have this either. Then you've got open with an item, I've set these both to false now but in the video I did actually show you with a diamond. Then you've got the important bit. This is the items, so this is what the player will actually see in their grid. So this one's called spawn command. You don't see that. That's just for your reference so you know what it does. The command is spawn. The name is spawn. The law is here. The item is here. And then this is where it actually appears. So this is the coordinate X and coordinate Y. And there's a grid on the actual website. I'll put a link to that so you know what they mean. But basically X is across and Y is down. So Y1 would be at the very top and position X1 would be at the very top. So position X9 is the furthest this way and position uh, Y6 is the bottom. So then obviously I've got these items. So coloured enchantment, it opens up the hat command. So as you can see this is still left over from the original config, this name. But then I've changed the name hats, I've set the VIP, I've set the item, I've set the data value, the amount, the protection as you saw was 100. So you just set them all up here, then you've got the hat menu, so this basically what it does is runs loads of commands, clearing the inventory, and then at the end it gives the item fire, and that will actually give the custom item that we created earlier. So the command to give is give item and then glass and that will give glass so dispenser, leaves, fire, hopper so they're really easy to set up <clears throat> but what I suggest is actually go into the sample shops and the sample plugins that they've actually created so this is the sample shop that they've actually created for us it's called simple shop at the top 
So the name of its shop, the amount of rows is six, and then it's got all the prices, how you give the items. So this is how I actually looked through it and learnt how to do it. Plugin tutorial shows you absolutely everything else you'll need to know. Great list of commands that you can access, the different features. So if you want to know anything, just go into the plugin tutorial. There's a list of all the commands that you'll need to know. Obviously, you can run commands as an op, as a server, as a player. There's so many different things that you can actually run. I'm not going to cover them all because they are actually listed in the config file. It's really easy to set up. It does take a little time, but it's definitely worth it because it does look great on your server. There'll be a download link to it in the description below. And as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.